school day in England. Do you ever wonder what birds think about? I do. Welcome. Welcome to Castle Hill. Local nature reserve, New Haven Fort and Shakespeare Hall. Doesn't look like a traditional I think Shakespeare it's like Hall. It. <laughs> Lots of World War II like memorabilia or soldiers carrying what looks to be like artillery or bombs here. It looks like it's over there. Look at that. Just down there. All the anti-air weaponry would have been set up around these coastal areas. Sandbox invasion from France. That is interesting. In the mid-19th century, there were concerns about a possible invasion by France. New Haven was one of the many forts built along the south coast. It was then occupied for a further 100 years throughout the First and Second World Wars. And now it's a nature reserve. Okay. And you have a piece of it. It's really beautiful. I'm not sure if it's before Eastbourne, but the Seven Sisters area, great walk there. And there's also sort of Berlin Gap, Seaford Head is great to visit, with Maya, uh, the GCSE, you know, German <laughs> over there. Oh wow, you can see. I think that is the Seven Sisters. sisters. Look at those views. Let's see it one more time. Camera pan over there. <laughs> Look at that. It is incredible. Iconic landmarks down here on this end of the country. Let's check this out, guys. We've got a... Wow, it looks like the entrance of a fort. Unfortunately, it is closed. New Haven Fort is now closed for repairs and will be refurbished spring 2025. Very big door. But come back for part two and we'll show you how to break into a fort. <laughs> There's a lot of um, 17th and 18th century cannons that are actually positioned the high points facing out towards the water to stop any boats that would have been trying to illegally invade. The sun's trying its best to come out today, as it always does in England. <laughs> they got the paddles on. <laughs> Imagine this would have been used during World War One and specifically World War Two. I think there'd be lots of soldiers here manning a single cannon, keeping their eyes on the skies, listening to any radio chatter that they, they would have had back then. Had a duty to prevent any aircrafts coming in from the ocean and coming inland towards London, which would have been the place to really defend. Only a hundred years ago. These all would have had a purpose. Let's keep exploring. Oh, what was I thinking, guys? What was I thinking? So we've got some local graffiti. <laughs> I wonder what this would have been. We've got a big stone door. one's looking right out to sea. What would the use of these big holes underneath have been? Metal brackets as well, so there definitely would have been some sort of door frames here. Yeah. Unless you think, would they have been stored for ammunition? Would they have been used for, you know, a place to put your head and those guns overhead? Wow. Yeah. So this is where that photo was that we just showed you earlier. Oh look, we've got someone, we've got a film crew here actually. <laughs> this one's much bigger than the other two that we saw as well. Makes you think, you know, around a hundred years ago, yeah, the sky would have been filled with planes coming over. The noise that they would have given off, the sirens that you would have heard during the time people had to take cover. now but if you think about how loud it would have been yeah. back then during the war. 
just gonna buy it for this one. Yeah, it's very peaceful now. You got another hole for artillery. Artillery hole. I imagine this would have been a full structure, but it looks like a lot of parts of it are missing. This exact location really does date back to the Neolithic period, as early as 10,000 BC. This is what the castle might have looked like during the Iron Age. This area is home to New Haven Fort, the Castle Hill Nature Reserve, Coast Watch Lookout Tower, and various Second World War Army buildings. Dating back to 10,000 BC is how old this place is. So it really has been repurposed over and over again. Here you go, guys. Look. Can you see anything? <laughs> is it one where you have to put money in? No, you can, oh, you can use it. it. Let's have a look. It shows you. Just about see it, mate. There we go. The looks of things, this just kind of takes you around the front of the fort. I'm hoping we can maybe get a view of the fort from here. Oh. Okay! Once again, I'm on low battery. Old ice cream. Which one? Oh, yes. All right, guys, that concludes today's video. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope to see you next week or, you know, whenever we're back. We aim to put out a video maybe once a week. Um, just different locations, different things, and uh, yeah, bring you guys some really great content every week and just see where it takes us. Thanks again for watching. Thank you. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you then next Peace. time.